Hello, Nuggets. It's been a few days um, since my last one. I've been working on uh, the script, so this is not the movie script. I've got to get back to that. Uh, but the pilot script I'm doing my wife. Um, and we've been going backwards and forwards. So I finished the trailer script. I did an update for that. I went through the problems of how do you write a trailer script where most of the time it feels like they just take existing content. So how do you write a trailer script that you're going to shoot the trailer? Um, and I've been very hesitant. Even though I finished the script, I just feel like it's going to be very hard to get performances out of people when they have so little context and so little run up. I mean, we might want a snippet of a line saying, well, I remember that time you killed the dragon. It's not about dragons, but, but ask expecting the actor to deliver that with no context, not just the run up in the scene, but nothing to ADR on just, just say the line and have it mean something in the trailer and feel the intention. I just don't think it works. That's why trailers are shot after you shoot it. So, We've been going back and forth on this. We haven't made a final decision yet, but I can't help but feel that we should shoot it. I'm going back to we should shoot the whole thing. Just because, you know, we watched, um, what did we watch? We were looking for some trailers and there are examples of groups of people who have just gone ahead and made it and sold the idea based on them making it not on the quality of the camera work not on the locations not on the money that was spent on the audio on the costume and all of that just on the strength of the writing and the performance you know uh it's always sunny in philadelphia is a good example they they shot if this is true this is what i read they shot a pilot i assume it was the pilot whatever an episode just on their own, video camera, walking around their apartment. They just shot it to show, look, this is who we are. These are the people involved. This is our comedy. And I only saw a little bit of it, um, and it looked good. I don't know whether that was what they sent out or that was a separate thing. But what I saw was good, and it was funny. And they, they sold that. Now, Laura's issue with it is she says that it was 15 years ago, and the expectations are a lot higher now. If you walk into an office with that as your tape, they're not going to give you the time of day. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I think I'm worried that if we sell the trailer, then we're, we're hitting, we're trying to pitch the trailer rather, where this in-between kind of area where we're trying to say this is the look we want, but we don't have the money or the knowledge to attain the look we want. So are they going to value that look? Are they going to look at it and say, like, well, if this is the best we can do, they can do, we don't want them. Whereas if it doesn't look good and it doesn't sound good, I would hope that they will immediately blank that out and go, well, that's not what they're doing. They're selling the concept. They're selling the performers and the writing. And that I think we have a shot at. You know, the script's good. Laura's great. I think we can make it work. It's going to be difficult to get with the actors. One of the advantages that It's Always Sunny had is that it's the three of them, whose name I can't remember, Charlie Day and the other ones, who are all creators and they're all in the show and they're all great. So they already have. They, they were definitely selling themselves. In our case, we're selling Laura, but there's a lot of other people in the show. And so what do we do? Do we cast, do final casting on that? We don't have that connection with those people yet. So it's a little different. Um... But also part of me just wants to go out and do it. Just want to do it, you know. And then even even if we manage to agree on that, let's say that we say, yes, we're going to do it. There's also a disagreement about what quality we should go for. You know, do we hire a DP? You know, we have friends who do it pretty cheap and they bring a decent camera in. Do we invest money into shooting the whole thing? Or do we do it like Always Sunny, which is literally a guy with a camera? They're just getting the content down. I'm tempted to not spend any money but i know that i'm a cheap bastard so you know my desire is to take the video camera that we have and the couple of lights that we have and just shoot some scenes right just shoot some scenes and then we sit down and look at it and if we think hey this is pretty good someone will like this then we send it out if not we evaluate whether or not it's a problem with the quality of the production or a quality of the content you know the writing and the, and the performing so i don't know we're stuck in between so at the end of the day, what I've been doing is working on the script. Um, because there are some things I've noticed that it's just, it's too long. It needs to move quicker. There are some, definitely some moments where one of the problems is, and I've run into this problem a lot before, is that the lead character is the most boring character. 
Not anymore. We've, I fixed that in the last few days. But that was the problem. And it happens a lot where you'll support characters to get, say, all the cool stuff and all the crazy shit, but you need your hero, the driving force, to be balanced and, and to, to kind of just be there reactive to what's happening. Um, but I think that that happens when your writing is a bit sophomoric, right? Sophomoric. Like, I think you should be able to do better than that. The great characters are not like that. So I think we've improved Maisie. She has a point of view. That's the name of the lead character. She has a point of view. She's funny. She has her own thing going on. She's not totally likable. Um, there's a lot of problems with her because the show is a journey about her becoming, you know, a different person, basically. Um, so anyway, that's what I've been working on. Uh, I'm trying to finish it off right now. It's, what are we at? We're at 21 pages, and I think I need another three pages or so. Um, there's a scene missing. I don't quite know what the scene is, but there's a theme of the show that isn't addressed yet, and I need to put that in. Um, and then, I don't know, we got to figure out whether we're going to shoot it or not. We're going out of town this week. We're going to Washington for a few days for a wedding. And then when we get back, we're thinking we shoot. I don't know. We have to decide. It's a big plunge. Anyway, that's where I've been for four days. Been doing that. I've also been writing for this Swedish guys. that I, There's a video game in Sweden that I've been working on. Um, there you go. That's the update. No update on the weight. Fuck, I've got to get my shit in together about the weight. I'm gaining weight again. All right, well, that's it. Start to give you an update. Hopefully the next one will be me showing you the video. Show you the scenes. I don't know if I'll do that, though. <laughs> we'll see. All right, you little nuggets. Have a good day. Bye.